Welcome to episode two of the screencast series on getting started with the ASP.NET MVC wrappers for Kendo UI. In the last episode, we covered the basics. In this episode, we'll look at how to read data from the server using Ajax. We'll also cover the Kendo UI tree view widget and how to display complex relationships from your database, such as a hierarchical one. We'll also talk about advanced concepts like lazy loading, and I think you'll be really surprised at how easy these things are to do with the MVC wrappers. I'm picking up pretty much exactly where I left off, except for the fact that I've added the Northwind SQL Express database to my project so that I have some data to work with. I've also added an EF model so that I can do some link queries. I showed in the first screencast how you can pass data from the server to the widget and bind to that data using the, well, the bind to method. However, one of the greatest advantages of building applications with HTML5 is that you can make asynchronous requests for data without actually refreshing your page, and this is called AJAX. The widgets have support for this built in out of the box, and it's incredibly easy to use. I'm going to create another controller to return data from the employees table out of the database. It will appropriately be named the employees controller. From that controller's index method, I'm going to perform a simple link query and return a list of all the records in the employees table. And then I'll serialize the query results to JSON and return them. In the index page, I'm going to remove the binding to the static list of things and instead specify a data source for this dropdown list. The data source has several methods, but the key one for this example is the read method. By specifying the controller action to call for the URL, I have configured this widget to call the employee's controller index method over Ajax. Wasn't that easy? The only additional piece of information that I need to provide the tree view is which field on the return data set I want to display as the text for each item. The dropdown list now displays the items from the database query. If I open the browser tools and watch the network requests, I can see that a call is being made by Kindle UI back to the server for data. The employee table is unique though. Each employee in this table is related to another employee in the same table by way of a reports to field, which specifies the employee ID of the person that they report to. When a table has fields related to each other, we call this a hierarchical join. These can be rather complex to display in a user interface, but the Kindle UI tree view is perfectly suited for the task. I'll swap out the dropdown list for a tree view. I'm not making any other changes. If I run this, you can see that each employee is just listed out. It doesn't look like much of a tree view though. Instead of returning all the employees, I need to return just the node that the tree view is currently requesting. I'll add an ID parameter to the index method on the employee's controller. I'll then filter my query based on which employees have a reports to value equal to that ID. The top level employee has null in their reports to field, so I'll make that parameter optional. The tree view also needs to know whether or not each node has any child nodes. To do this, we just need to check to see if the employee or employees that we are about to return have any child records and then return a has children boolean flag. Now the tree view only shows one node. If I expand it, you could see its child nodes and then their child nodes. We have successfully replicated the organizational hierarchy of the employees table with Kendo UI. If I watch the network requests, you can see that only the currently showing nodes are actually sent back from the server. This is sometimes referred to as lazy loading or the idea of having just the records that you need right at the moment when you need them, which in my case is when I expand a tree node. The tree view, however, does not reload nodes after the first time I expand one since that would be inefficient. You can see how easy it is to create an application that leverages Ajax using Kendo UI. The wrappers configure the JavaScript and CSS for you under the covers so that everything just works. We also saw how to create a Kendo UI tree view and how to use it to display a complex database relationship and use lazy loading for the most efficient and fastest experience. In the next episode, we'll look at quite possibly the most popular widget in the Kendo UI suite, and that's the almighty Kendo UI grid. It's a feature rich and incredibly flexible widget that allows you to do many operations on sets of data, such as paging, editing, filtering, sorting, grouping, and more. We'll even discuss how to offload some of these actions onto the server to speed things up a bit.